This man Zay said, how the notebooks get rolled back, but fighters didn't. Yes, yes. Take Zay, wherever the hell you are at, take a bow, sir. Take a damn bow. Couldn't look away from a train break. You can blame it on the tank or the disrespect. Before you play back, button check. Button check. What is up, everybody? Welcome back to yet again a beautiful week, a full week of checking these buttons. We got a lot to unpack, and as usual, we got the chapters and links down below if you guys want to click around to a certain subject. Very interesting topic about TOs calling out cheaters, but a lot of seasoned gamers in the FGC talking about we don't necessarily call that cheating. And on top of that, we got some of the funniest takes of this post. I'll put it on the screen right now. A lot of pros, a lot of gamers in general just did their reactions, and they did their takes. It's hilarious. Anyway, without further ado, Let's unpack it all. Let's go. I'm telling you, if they wouldn't name this character Sarai, I would never be mad about Samuji being lost. Alright, and now into the first set of buttons that need to be checked. This one pops off, we mentioned it in the beginning, about possible cheating in the FGC when it comes to tournament play. And by cheating, I want to back up for a second, it has more to do with the money, with the price pot, and how certain players might be in cahoots or making deals on the side. All right, so let's unpack it. It's gonna start right here with a young lady by the name of, I'm gonna put her profile on the screen. It's MYM, not very good at, not very good. So I'm not sure if her name is Vera or not, but anyway, here's her profile. As you can see, one thing that stood out to me says Mortal Kombat player and new, new to the gaming community. So apparently from what I can gather, she threw an online tournament the other day, I believe it was an MK11, right? She posted this following that, let's get it. It's come to my attention that three prominent members of the NRS community who have competed several times on my platform attempted to barter a deal to split winnings during one of my team events. It breaks my heart who these individuals are, but I'm not about to talk about who they are at this point because it's not important at this time. This is a warning to other event planners and organizers, it doesn't matter how high level the event or high profile the competitor only have trusted people on your platform. Be careful spotting these kinds of setups, fraudulently competing in events and splitting winnings. I'm just a small person and self fund my own events and my supporters put their hard earned money into the pots and raise prize pools. And it breaks my heart to see this happen. I can only assume it's been happening to me this entire time by others as I'm new to the FGC. Maybe it's common practice, but to me it's blatant cheating. Then, as you can imagine, the FTC starts responding, and right off the bat, though, I see a lot of people questioning the decision or questioning her reaction like, yo, is this necessarily cheating though? Kicks off with Ty Titan right here. He says, I don't see what the supposed issue is with this. If the competitors weren't colluding to throw the match, what they do with the money afterwards doesn't matter whatsoever. Pot splitting isn't the same as colluding. Then Mustard at PND Mustard replies to that saying, splitting the pot is definitely frowned upon. Part of having a prize to play for in the first place is about giving your 110% in the tourney so you can win it. If the player knows they're Putting it anyway, it devalues the aspect completely. Tight Titan responds again saying, while I personally wouldn't split the pot, I also don't see the issue with it because to me, as long as the match isn't being thrown intentionally, the matches are still being played how they would have been played regardless. As I've saw other people, including Coach Steve say, Tweety responds to that right here saying, Steve was talking about splitting the pot and with a friend in a 1v1 situation where you both still tried your best. This was a team format with three players striking a deal. So whether it was 2v2, 3v3, or one to two players lost on a team with a player that had no interest in winning. Ty Titan responds again saying, I, yeah, I feel with it being a team format muddies the waters a little bit. It's a lot more complicated if people on teams planning to split the pot without involving everyone, especially. I don't know the 
the exact details of the situation though, but if people threw the games, that's an issue. And then more, you know, start to respond saying, yo, but what's wrong with it? Honestly, we don't see what's wrong with it. Like they said in the beginning, as long as people are not quote unquote colluding or purposely throwing the game and they're still trying, a lot of people are having a hard time seeing what the problem is. In the previous tweets that were referencing Coach Steve, this is the tweet right here that he made. He said, you're definitely new here. There's no money in the FGC. People want to fuck each other up, but not hurt each other's pockets. Some will agree to split and some won't. I've been on both sides and ain't nobody going to call me a cheater when I'm still giving my 110% every time. He adds to that saying, collusion is pretty much staging a result and both parties agree. Pot splitting is where we both collect, but I wanna fuck you up and still win. I don't see how the difference isn't clear. All right, so let's unpack this real quick, y'all. I'm gonna continue to show the tweets on the screen as I start to talk about this a little bit. So I think there's definitely a difference. Now, as far as like, on her side, I think she has a point, you know, besides her saying she's new to the community and whatnot. So obviously she hasn't seen too much of this or too much of anything if she's saying she's fairly new. But as the TO, as the one throwing the tournament, I feel like she has the right. If she wants this to be a rule during her tournaments, she can obviously have the right, right? She should. If this is her platform, then as a player, you can choose to rock with her or not. But it definitely should be something that she puts in her guidelines and tells people up front, which I'm pretty sure she's gonna, probably gonna start doing now. But on that other hand, I do agree with the players that say there's a difference between colluding and pot splitting. If you're purposely throwing the match, if you're purposely like rigging something and whatnot, then yes, there's a problem there. And also, if you're doing it, what they were saying, it gets a little trickier in team events because if everybody's not on board and everybody's not getting a piece, like let's say there's three on three, but only four or three people know about the damn deal and actually cut each other in, then there might seem like there's more of a problem. But if both, let's say it's like one-on-one -on -one or 2v2 or whatever, and everybody's in agreement, and we know that everybody's still, like Coach Steve was saying, they still wanna win, and they still want the trophy, they still want the award or the placement or the, or the CPT points, whatever it is, but they still make a deal in order just to get more money. Honestly, I, I kinda stand on that side where it's like, whoever wins gets to do whatever the hell they want with the money, it's their money. But I'm not gonna be blind and say I don't see the TO's perspective, because I get it. When you see something like that, you automatically in your brain as a TO or, or organizer, it, it has a bad, it just has a bad stereotype is what I'm trying to say. Like you see something like that, then your brain's gonna start thinking of all these other things. I wonder what they planned. I wonder if somebody threw it. I wonder all this other shit. So I get it. I completely understand where somebody could have concern once they start seeing stuff like this going on, especially if they're out of the loop. And don't quote me on this, but I swear a couple years ago, I heard Punk or Knuckle Doo, one of them said that they were doing this with each other. Like they had a deal to where if one of them won a tournament, they would split it with the other, even if they were at different tournaments or something like that. So, you know, both of them at one point were like the top players, you know what I'm saying? They were like winning everything. And apparently they had some mutual deal or respect or, or bond. I don't know what the hell it was, but I remember one of them saying, that you know, if one wins, whatever, we kind of share. Like I said, don't quote me on that shit because I don't have a tweet or anything, but I swear I was, I was somebody, one of them said it and I was like, okay, that's what's up. And honestly, when I heard it, I didn't think, oh, how dare you guys, you guys are cheating. No, I literally just heard, I, to me, I was like, oh, that's kind of smart because they were using their money. I know Knuckle Dude was like investing in real estate and stuff like that. I think Punk went that same route and also was investing in real estate. These dudes were literally getting the bag. You know, everybody always talking about how broke the FGC is. Now we getting money, especially on, along these levels, if you're winning Capcom Cup and all this other stuff, right? So now these guys are winning major tournaments, investing it, and like basically making deals with each other. Honestly, I didn't see nothing wrong with it. Because for me, at the end of the day, you know damn well everything Knuckle Dude was in, he wanted to win. And you know damn well, Punk crying when he loses and throwing tantrums and all that stuff. And that, that's not me taking shots. That's me saying honest to God true. If you could see the passion when this man plays, he wants to win. So that's why for me personally, when I heard one of them say it, and like I said, don't quote me because it was from years ago, but that's why initially I remember not thinking anything of it. I was like, oh, that's what's up. So anyway, definitely let me know how you guys feel, man. Do you think 
Uh, splitting the pot, it just leaves a bad, like, you know, mustard was saying, like it is definitely frowned upon. Do you think it would be, you know, so far as to be considered cheating or should it be banned? Or at the end of the day, are you like, yo, if I win the money, I can do whatever I want with it as long as I'm not throwing the match. What's up? All right, and now into them second set of buttons, these hilarious, sensual, definitely HT vibe set of buttons. This one was posted, I saw this about a week ago, actually, uh, by somebody in the name of Wasminator at Wasminator. So I post the original tweet right here. Basically it says, what can you say during sex, but also during a fighting game? So big up to everybody that tagged me. Thank you guys for all the amazing love and everybody. I saw pros, I saw everybody respond to this. So I was like, yo, we gotta read some of these. Starts off with Broly. Y'all know Broly Legs got something to say. You know, Broly says, I play with my mouth. I mean, hey, yeah. Then Ryu Apprentice at UGO underscore uh, to you puts a list of them right here. He says, how hard can you grind? Do you like footsies? Don't flick it. Use deliberate circular. Wait a minute. Don't flick it. This man just said, don't flick it. Don't mash the buttons, just tap it gently, hold it down in that position. Emperor Chad responds saying, you know, I'm not usually this bad. <laughs> I mean, yo, real talk is real talk. I see Ants posting saying, uh, I don't even play this game. <laughs> Fuel Punk says, uh, we shouldn't do this, we're trading partners. The Little King right here posted this meme saying, he's about to get his soul sucked. Frank the Fool says, yo, you wanna learn how to do a fucking infinite? Wanna learn how to do a fucking infinite. I don't know if I've ever said that during sex. Like I do, don't get me wrong, I do infinites, but they're more like five minute infinites, you know, like in, in, in increments, I do increments. Another one right here, they say, I could think of a few. Stop yelling, gonna cry, does it hurt? Yo, what the hell, what the hell, what the hell is you doing? Talking about stop yelling, does it cry, does it hurt? Is it, does, is she okay? Like, does she know, like, is she in agreement, is what I'm saying? Goes on saying, I'm gonna use my special attack. Nobody is coming for you. Hold on a damn second. Now we, now we go back to the agreement part. Nobody's coming, nobody's coming for you? I think we might need to give this tweet to the police, is what I'm thinking. This might be, this might be evidence in the future. And I'll wrap it up right here with Nicole Marie that says, finish me. Oh, Nicole, brav to the, oh, that was beautiful. Finish me, oh, come on. There it is, ladies and gents. Definitely let me know how you feeling, man. What do you feel as far as like the pot splitting at the end of the day? Is it just too much? Or should the winners be able to do whatever the hell they want with the money? And when it comes to what you could say during the sexual relations and also in fighting game, can you think of any new ones? And on that note, thank you guys for all the amazing love. Thank you for tuning in once again. If we don't post tomorrow, it'll definitely be the next day. See y'all soon. Love you forever. Peace. Blah, blah, blah. Subscribe. So you can Basically it says, what can you say during sex, but also during a fighting game? Win. Finished already? Please.